Hi friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. The topic for today is anger management. So before we talk about the techniques to manage the anger and control your temper, would like to share a small story with you which I recently read and it really helped me to control my temper. There was a king in the city of Nawabs, Lucknow, who had a prince and the prince had a real bad temper. To take care of uh, the prince so that he is able to manage his temper, king took the prince to his guru, to the teacher, wherein the teacher was supposed to help the prince in managing his temper. The training was supposed to last for eight months. The Guru asked us whenever he will get angry, the prince is supposed to hammer a nail at the back of the wall. So on the very first day, there were 39 nails that he hammered in the wall. Friends, I hope you can imagine and you are with me in the story, 39 nails. Over a period of time, the number of nails hammered, reduced and drastically reduced over a period of 10 days. As the prince realized that hammering of the nail in the wall was much more challenging than getting upset and losing temper. The day finally arrived when he need not to hammer any nail in the wall and he went back to the Guru and informed that he is not getting upset at all. Prince's Guru, his teacher, asked him to take out the nails from the wall every day that he is not getting upset. So over a period of time, he did the same. And again, after few months, there was a day that he went back to the Guru and informed that there are no more nails in the wall. Guru took the child, the princess, to the wall and showed, made him feel the backside of the wall with his hand. The wall was uneven. The teaching was simple as advised by the Guru to the princess was, you might have taken all the nails off. You might have apologized to anyone to whom you have got upset, but the wound will still be there. So anytime you stab someone with your verbal knife, the scar will remain my friend. So it's always better to control your anger, your temper. We all are in a habit, most of us lose our temper in traffic, we shout at each other and we consider it as a normal that happens in our life. Friends, once you lose temper during the start of the day, you will find that you are losing temper for the entire day. You will lose temper on your spouse, on your children, at your colleagues and the scar will remain always. There are few noted techniques for controlling your anger. The best one that I follow is the breathing exercise. So whenever you get upset, if the person is shouting, the other person is shouting at you, just take a deep breath. Hold the breath for 3 to 4 seconds and then take it out from your mouth. It will really help you to relax. Second most important thing about not getting upset is you the realization that I will not get upset. And then taking other techniques into play. So it can be pursuing your hobby, thinking about something nice. I always think about going to a bar with friends whenever there is a situation that makes me upset and having few beers. What about you friends? What are the different tactics that you follow when you get upset? Do plan your own way and few people also write down in a journal whenever they get upset and it really helps them over a period of time to keep a track of all the incidents that is making them upset. It's not that challenging, my friend. Keep it in your head that you will be happy. You need not to get upset. 
you are in control of the situation and as i always say stay positive stay happy you will be able to manage that anger together we can and we will make the difference please look forward to my other videos on time management and communication skills kindly like share and subscribe my youtube channel thank you and bye